The state's highest court ruled in its first major gun rights case in several years. It centered around whether a person can legally own a gun if they were involuntarily hospitalized for mental health concerns. Local 5's Connor O'Neill tells us how the court ruled. Yes, Stephanie, well, the state Supreme Court upheld the district court's ruling four to three last week, concluding the plaintiff, whose name will not be shared due to privacy concerns, cannot own or carry firearms because he could pose a public safety threat. This story starts all the way back in 2006 when he was 16 years old. Court records show his family admitted him for outpatient treatment because of threats made to harm himself and abuse of drugs and alcohol. Doctors then diagnosed him with bipolar disorder. Two years ago, when Iowa passed a constitutional amendment guaranteeing the right to carry and conceal, the plaintiff from Pottawatomie County submitted an application for a concealed carry permit, but the county sheriff's office denied it. Once that happened, he filed a petition to restore his gun rights and challenged the legal standard used in the case. A district court denied denied the petition last year because it said even though this man was a teen when involuntarily admitted, he failed to prove he will not be likely to act in a manner dangerous to the public safety now that he's an adult. And on Friday, the Iowa Supreme Court agreed with the district court's ruling there's no strict scrutiny standard, which requires a law to meet compelling government interest, meaning the state rules that it has compelling interest in preventing gun violence and suicide, so the court affirms denial of this man's gun rights because he didn't show he is no longer a threat to public safety. The court also noted that this man has the ability to reapply to have his gun rights restored every two years.